So inside of ClickUp, you have plenty of abilities when it comes to task view and task management. Today, I wanted to show you what it looks like inside of a task and how to navigate it inside of your ClickUp account. Now, as you can imagine, this is a brand new channel about ClickUp. So if you fancy diving in, please do subscribe and join us below because if you're working out how ClickUp works, this is a great location for just that. So here on the screen in front of me, I have my tasks area. Basically, this is my homepage for seeing what's on my lineup, agenda, and my work. Now, if I have a task here, you can see that I've got record audio. Now, once you click into a task, you get this lovely full page view where you can really dive into much more of the details. I wanna show you a little bit of a hack before we start. If you're looking to maybe minimize this but come back to it, in the top right corner you can minimize the task and it goes into your what's called task tray and you can open it up at any time, which is really helpful for being able to just save yourself a bit of time and naturally keep it in mind and at hand. So over here on this left hand side, you can see that I can scrubble uh, between the statuses uh, that I'm working in. So I can actually move this to doing because I'm doing it right now. I'm recording audio and uh, you can actually complete it from here if you did want to. Now you do have urgency inside of your tasks. This is very common, but you have four key urgencies inside of your ClickUp task view. You have urgent, high, normal and low, which gives you a bit of a clearer indication of whether this is something that's gonna be important right now. Up here as well, you have the ability to modify your task settings. Inside of task settings, you can copy link, copy ID, and you can even add it to another list if you did want to. Now, one of the cool things is you can convert this task into a list or a subtask. So for example, if you're looking to convert it into something higher in the hierarchy, list is a much bigger element of the experience, much more like a project, and a subtask is a much more granular level of a task. So it's helpful for being able to just take that, whatever you're working on, and if it's turned into something else, it's evolved, then that's something you can do. Now you can send emails to a task, which gives you this unique task email address, and you can copy it. Every time you mention something, you can BCC that or forward any emails, and they will appear inside of this area, the activity log area, which is very helpful for managing. Now down here, I can use the description to really add more detail in terms of the task, but I can use all of the lovely stuff that I would in ClickUp Docs. So I get the full functions of all the headers, all the banners, everything you'd expect, and being even able to embed stuff, which is really helpful. In this case, I don't necessarily need to do that, but that's always there to hand if you do want to use it. Now you can even create a checklist or a subtask down here in your to-do area. So you can break a task down into much more detail and even give it statuses. So in this case, it might be like find microphone and you can even give it uh, a tags, start date, due date, estimated tasks, and all the stuff you'd expect with giving a just a regular task over. And it can even move the status to doing and assign it to myself from here. So the level of detail is quite helpful. You can even add a checklist here and use a template alongside of it. And down here, if you have any attachments, you can just drag them in here, which is pretty helpful. Now inside of ClickUp, something we'll show you in another video is something called Click Apps. And essentially you can apply them to specific workspaces, but what's helpful is, and what's nice about it is that you can basically switch these on like apps inside of your account. So I've switched on time tracking. Now, if I wanted to start a timer for this task, you can see it appear in the bottom right hand corner. And this is really helpful because I can add any notes or modify it manually as well. But this keeps and allows me to just keep track of how my task is doing and it'll produce better reports when it comes to later as well. And I can even associate it to being a billable task, which I can then allocate expenditure over to it later and um, really work out you know, how much I wanted to charge for my time, which is perfect. So that will appear in the right hand corner. I'll keep that running, but you can also add a time estimate as well. So if I put 30 minutes, then this is given 30 minutes of allocated time to work on. So it gives you a bit of an indication, okay, my time track, you know, on this one, then I need to make sure that I don't go over it or I do go over it, but I make sure that I'm billing it so that I don't miss anything out. And I can even add manual items to this and you can say like, okay, last Wednesday, I think I was, I worked 20 minutes on it. 
So you can start to see the 20 minutes being added and that just will clock up for the end allocated time. So you can see here that 21 minutes 17 has been so far worked on this task. I can change the due date, uh, which is always really helpful and add comments down in the bottom right corner. And that in a sense is the entire experience of tasks. Over here, a sm few small things is you can move the task, you can add tasks to another list and you can even add tags and change the dependencies. So dependencies are helpful for indicating whether a task is being blocked or whether a task is being waited on. And that's quite helpful because you can notify the team members that something is blocking you from that. Middle management or management can come to that in their own setups and see what task can I help with to unblock that specific person. So that's what it looks like inside of a task. And it's quite helpful once you modify some of the information, obviously it'll pop up inside of this preview view and you can see it in a much more detail. So that is how to go about doing uh, and modifying your task view. Hopefully you found this video helpful and I look forward to seeing you in a future video here on Keep Productive with ClickUp. Thank you very much folks and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio.